Hello and welcome back to AP Computer Science. This is going to be question three on the 2015 exam. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover this sparse array problem. And basically what a sparse array is, is we have a very few values in this 2D array and the rest are going to be zero. So we simply store um, a representation of this matrix uh, in a, a list uh, for each one of these entries. So you don't have to waste a bunch of space uh, for the rest of those. Uh, so the College Board provides a bunch of code, and I have that up here, but we don't need to worry about that. You can download it yourself and look at it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and implement the methods that they want for these questions. So this is part A. We're going to be implementing get value at, and what we're going to do is we're going to go through our entries list, and we're going to um, return the value at that given index if it exists, otherwise we're going to uh, return zero. So we're going to go ahead and check if the column is equal to the column that they are requesting, and we're going to check if the row is equal to the row that they're requesting, and if it is, then we return the value at that position. Otherwise, we just return zero. So that's part A. Pretty simple, straightforward. Four lines of code. As you Im can imagine, the next one might not be so easy. Okay, so here's remove column. What they want us to do for this, a little bit trickier, they want you to um, remove all the entries with indexes matching column. And they want you to um, consider all entries with indexes greater than column and replace them with entries with that value decremented by one. So it would be shifting it over to the left. And of course we want to make sure that the number of columns is adjusted appropriately. So that's a whole lot to take in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in reverse order a bit. We're going to go ahead and update num column. So by doing num columns minus minus, that will decrement it by one. It's probably the easiest point um, on there. Next, what we're going to want to do is remove um, all those entries that contain a um, column matching call. So uh, to do this, we're just going to go ahead and make a temporary um, array list. And that's going to be an array list of sparse array entries. and we're going to make one of these guys uh, to keep track of the ones we want to remove. So we're going to go through our entries array and we're going to check if the column is equal to call and if it is we want to add it to to remove. Simple enough. Now keep in mind though, they want you to keep track of the entries that have, um, they want you to keep track of the entries that have uh, indexes greater than call, remember? So what we want to do is we also want to remove uh, the ones that are greater than call, but we want to replace them. So we're going to make a second array here and we're going to go ahead and call it to replace. And what we're going to do now is we're going to make a little else if. And we're going to check if x is column is greater than call. And if it is, we're going to still remove that old value. But uh, in its place, we want to replace it with a new sparse array entry with updated values. So it'll have um, the same row, slightly different column, just decremented by one, and it'll have the same value. Okay, so now we just need to update our entries array and we should be good to go. So we're going to go through our 
to remove array, uh, array list. We're going to go ahead and remove from entries each one of those elements. So that for each loop should take care of that. Now, similarly, we're going to make another one of these for each loops, and we're going to go ahead and increment through replace, and we're going to go ahead and add each one of those elements. And now our array should be updated because we've updated the number of columns, we've uh, removed all the entries you wanted, and we've re-added the updated entries. And that should be it for this question. Thanks for watching. If you um, have any questions or comments or feedback, please let me know in the comments. Thanks very much.